Hi, this is Chuck Martin of the IoT World at AI Summit, and I'm happy to say I've got with me here Gary Kasparov, world famous chess player, master, uh, world champion, welcome. Thank you. So you just came off stage talking about basically the 25 year anniversary of Deep Blue. Tell me about what's, what's gone on for 25 years. Oh, many things have happened over the last 25 years. Um, um, speaking about computers and uh, human machine relations, uh, shifting from competition to collaboration, I think this is the uh, 1997 match, which was a rematch, because I won the one in 96, lost in 97. So it was a milestone because it demonstrated that um, in any closed system, and ch game of chess, game of Go, uh, any video game, even Texas Hold'em Poker, they're all closed systems. In any closed system, machines will prevail eventually. Uh, but, you know, it also opened up a quite an important uh, uh, mm, uh, new chapter in, 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 in the history of technology, and also uh, raised a question, in a $64,000 question, what is human role in this decision-making process where, when machine could play, you know, uh, um, uh, um, or could, could cover 95% of the territory, so how do we position ourselves to um, make sure that we're still relevant uh, and not, uh, 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 not being uh, um, um, pushed outside. So how, is that, how does that happen in society? Is it the role of the, of the technology companies? Is, is it the business? Is it just humans? Look, it's 1997, so it's, it was just, 20, just 25 years ago, or we should say 25 years ago, because it's almost eternity for this te new, new technological cycle. So, so many things happened, you know, uh, um, it's the, uh, the new uh, search engine there was Alta Vista. That's very few people yes. can even recall <laughs> this name these, these days. If you want to know about Alta Vista, you have to Google it. <laughs> uh, uh, and, uh, um, and I think it's just, we just realized that these, 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 these cycles, they're getting faster and faster. But I still believe that, you know, um, there's the, um, some kind of, mm, it's, it's it, I wouldn't say discomfort, but it's probably a mystery for us how to actually maximize the positive effect of, this te of these technologies. Because there's so many opportunities, I think, being missed because we have this almost uh, religious fear of the machines, you know, okay. taking over, and uh, it's uh, very few people, you know, and we're not uh, uh, um, impressed by the Hollywood brainwashing production about the Terminator and about Matrix. And look, you know, it's, it's machines are not harbinger of utopia or dystopia. They also, they're, all, they're the tools. And, and it's, it's up to us to actually make all the difference. I always say humans are monopoly for evil. And no technology could actually offer us, you know, uh, 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 a straight path to, to heaven. But it's not like opening gates of hell. Because it, it's about humans to actually find a way to uh, adjust it for demands of, the, of our society and to turn it into good force, not destruction, destructive force. So what do you say to the people who fear technology? Just read human history, history of progress. Machines made us stronger. Machines made us faster. Uh, the world we live in today, it's thanks to the machines invented by humans, is so much better than it used to be. Uh, uh, we live longer. So we, 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 we found a way to actually to, to maximize uh, positive effects for the machines. But at the same time, on the other side, we could see the, the, the destruction that could be caused by these machines. Um, I think that we just have to just recognize the historical inevitability. But I believe that is the, we should s uh, brush aside any fear that there will be no room for humans. Yes, we won't belong to last few decimal places and human role in this decision-making process has been shrinking, but I don't believe for a second that this role will disappear. There's always you know, room for humans to make pivotal decisions to maximize the effect of, of mm, uh, uh, new machines' uh, powers. I look forward to the future, thank you. Yes, yes, and future, um, it's, um, it's for us to actually to, to build this future, and, uh, and I think that's working with the, with the smart machines, we can make it better and, and more prosperous. Thank you. Thank you.